Well, you guys got a slate. Wow, fancy. Yeah, slate? Yeah. Wong, yeah. Fu, Wong Fu didn't slate until like three years ago. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Grocery Run, a show where I convince celebrities to come grocery shopping with me by footing the bill for them. In exchange though, we go back to their place where they must make a signature dish for me. And on our very first episode, we have my good friend, Philip Wang. What's up everyone? What up? First episode. First episode for the OG, for the <laughs> grandfather of YouTube. It's okay, all right, I'm gonna try to Bring my A game. Yes. Good job on that you, intro, you by the way. Tuck in your mic. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm so yeah. nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> what are you making again? We're making tomato and egg today. So it's a classic comfort dish. My mom made it all the time. I literally just came from visiting home, and she made it for me back at home. So uh, fresh in my memory and in my palate, and I'm excited to cook for you. So I'm, I'm going to give you a budget of okay. hundred dollars. Ooh. Spend all of it. Oh my god, a hundred! I can get like the, I can make like, tons of it. Let's do it. Now. Let's go shopping. Uh, oh, we're just going shopping. We're just going to go. All right. You ready? Okay. I need to go this way though. Why? <laughs> so are we, are we like a couple pushing this together? What's going on? <laughs> you no, you, you push it. I'm, I'm the guest. I'm the guest. Steven, what should we get tonight? I... Oh my god, let's get that. Let's get you that. You want to get that? All right, let's, <laughs> we're getting it. How do you know what's a good tomato? Well, you talk to it first and you ask, have you been good? And if they're not honest with you, you talk to their teacher. I'm gonna do my best rundown of your resume I here. would love to hear this. Okay, UCSD grad, 2006. Very good. Started the YouTube channel in 2006. Five, Five. six, Whoa. yeah. Also a filmmaker, yep. producer, yeah. a boba shop owner, which we will get to later. Oh yeah, that happened. Plush toy. We started a toy line. We Media started, mogul We with started an ISA. apparel line. Yeah, we started ISA. Which, by the way, I applied to ISA. <laughs> I've heard this story a long time ago. Hey, we gotta go, it's time to go. We gotta go. They ghosted me. Uh, Never emailed me back. Those were my people, it wasn't me personally. But you're responsible for your team. And so I had to go to BuzzFeed. <laughs> this is a lesson to everyone out there. Like, you could have gotten, gotten salty and been like, Oh, you know, I'm still salty. <laughs> you need garlic, by the way? I already got the garlic. Oh, oh sorry. I already sorry. got the garlic. Yeah, I got it. okay. 14 years of YouTube, we'll do something to somebody. <laughs> we'll say that. Which, by the way, I want to talk about, I don't want to call this word out, but I've, I'll just say it. Are, okay. you, are you jaded? Oh! Like, how do you feel about how everything has changed? Oh my god, this is not this is not a walk and talk kind of uh, well. topic. So, let's imagine okay. YouTube, when I first started, no, this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is me, this is, I'm the preserved duck egg, like, I used to be so, so pure. This is me. Yeah, this is what happens after 15 years. You gotta be, you gotta be housed in styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm jaded because that would assume that I had an expectation when I first started. Uh -huh. Because there was no one ahead of us that had done what we were doing in terms of YouTube and social media, we literally were just figuring it out as we were going along. But I do feel like now it's like more of like this spectacle, like, oh, we gotta be YouTubers! Yeah. And that, that really yeah. wasn't how it was. My question to you then is, what is it that you want to tell the new generation oh. of people making content? If, if anyone is gonna be making any type of content that's just for the views and just for the attention, that's a very, very short runway because they're always chasing this destination that is actually never there. When I watch our old stuff, like I, I think it's awesome because like, you know, we tell stories and people are still watching it 10 years later. Some stuff is uh, cringy because of like the production yeah. style or value, but I think generally like the messages that we have, I'm, I'm still proud of after all these years. I think I might need some cooking wine. Hey, we got budget, look at this. We have plenty of room I know. in the new generation of YouTube. Get the Shaoxing cooking wine. I think I think the thing with this is the greatest that is Chinese the ingredient. I'll get the one that's fifty cents more expensive. <laughs> you know what I will say though, you have pioneered YouTube in a way that actually affected lots of people. Thank you. In the man. future, that means a lot for you like, to say that. I yeah. hate to admit it, <laughs> but yeah? I'm here because of, of. Wong Fu <laughs> and Kev Jamba of course, and yeah. Ryan Higa and David Choi. In that order. And in, that, in that order. It's probably in reverse order. <laughs> a lot of times, yeah, people like talk about representation in only like in the context of movies and TV shows, and yeah, like in the 2000s and the last 15 years, there haven't been that much. But where it was all happening was on YouTube. That YouTube money though. <laughs> YouTube money. That YouTube you money. You want durian? <laughs> no. I, I actually have not had durian before. I've I've avoided it. No, what are you're we... kidding me. You've never had durian. You have a lot of fans in Malaysia, in Singapore, in and, Indonesia. And you know in what? The I love chicken rice. I love nasi lemak. <laughs> I don't need that cred. Okay. Wow. <laughs> some nice jasmine. Some jasmine. 
I like this rice, by the way. Oh, that is this good This is stuff, the yeah. one I eat. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. You're right. What no, is... get, get the slightly bigger one. The yeah. sli oh, wow. What a sugar daddy. <laughs> hey, hey, girl. Get the big bag of rice. Here we go, durian wafers. Only at 99 Rand. All right, all right. Throw those in there. You really cannot buy this at a house. Of course or, not. Uh, or even the Korean supermarkets. They don't have this kind of stuff. They don't, they don't flirt with disaster. I did not plan this in the call sheet. Okay. Your bubble shop is down the street. Can I, we yeah. just drop by real quick, pick up a drink, and head over to your place? Oh, hell yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Bubble mofo. I'm gonna get the kabocha spice latte. Let's do it. It has espresso in it. Yes. And I'm a basic. No, it's not, it's not basic because we use this non-basic gourd, yeah. okay? And you're gonna make cool. this for me. All right, yeah. Uh, Phil's oh. making my drink. I, I worked at a boba shop when I was in college, so I got this. Is it one or one and a half for a regular? Well, usually you put it after the base. <laughs> I'll, do the, I'll do the base first, obviously. There's no um, like syrups in here. Oh, okay. This is basically one and a half. My employees are loving this right now. <laughs> From you too, okay? It's translucent, I wasn't able to see. All right? He's gotta watch his social media figure. Actually, some people have ordered extra rice. Nice. Look at that, look at that. Nice. Oh, stop, 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 yep, yep, yep. Because we still need to make room for a real shot of espresso. Hey, why don't you do a latte art? That's okay. the next step for the cafe. That is, that is. Here is our kobacha spice latte. Thank you. Please take a biodegradable bamboo fiber straw. Oh, go, you just gotta go. All right. This is just your pit stop before we get to cooking. I would say <laughs> it's much better than I thought. <laughs> Mainly because you made it. Oh, I wasn't sure okay, if it was right. gonna be good or not. You're right, you're right. That's a, yeah. good, that's a good reason. But you taste well the real done. pumpkin in there? I taste the real pumpkin. The, just, there's real spices. Real espresso. Really basically back to my Starbucks days, the adult version of that. Exactly, the adult and Asian version. <laughs> To your place. Let's go. Hey, we're here. Just got into Phil's kitchen. Yeah, and it's always this ready to go and this clean, guys. Can we talk about Helen? Go ahead. I don't know. Like, yeah. It's public, right? Yeah, of course. I, don't, I, don't know. I live here with my girlfriend, Helen. A wonderful human being. Honestly, it makes sense that you're together. Uh, like, because I'm so great. Helen's great, and she actually um, helped clean up a little bit before <laughs> you guys got here. Thanks, Helen. So thanks, Helen. You know. Oh, I forgot to say, you'll see a wet stain here. Case in the car. Because Steven doesn't know how to drink. I was drinks. Drinking. You, um, by the way, do you need to make rice right now? Oh, oh my God, yes. I'm that kid that's like, you finish, you're like, ah, we didn't make rice. All right, do you want to be in charge of the rice? No. No? I'm gonna watch All you right, cook. just gonna watch me cook. Wait, well, what? No, here's the thing, here's the thing, just watch. When you use the ratio, okay. pan water ratio, you don't even need cups, okay? Uh, my hand doesn't fit in this. I can't, I can't do the... I think I need a little more. A little more? Oh shoot, wait, wait, keep your hand there, keep your hand there. All right, so now it covers, right? Yeah. How's that? That's good. I think that's too much. We'll see how thick your hand is. <laughs> that actually depends a lot on like how thick people's hands yeah. are, right? And how dense, how muscular, yeah, how yeah. fat it is. All right, all right, Brittany. From what I know about Wang Fu, you've kind of done the balance of both making very highly specific Asian American content, mm -hmm. and you've also done the general content that also happens to cast Asian Americans. Yeah. Was that all intentional? What are you thinking through? I know so, it's a broad question, but... Yeah, I think when we first started, we only casted Asians just because like that was who was available. So you're telling me that Yellow Fever Honestly, was it wasn't like a big... I wasn't trying to make a statement of like, I'm so upset at this and we have no representation. It was more just like, oh, I noticed this. Then why are all the white guys taking our girls? Are you serious? Honestly, like it was very pure in that sense, I guess. Like I didn't realize actually how loaded the topic was. And I mean, the title, Yellow yeah. Fever. And it was a different time too, right? So I actually didn't like that people just thought Wong Fu was just for Asians because Asian people were in it. People aren't like, oh, I can't watch it. It's just for white people, mm -hmm. right? Because we've just grown up watching all of that. That's just right. American media, right? So, okay, let's fast forward to Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Str Things. <laughs> I wish I made Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Strangers Again, which was your most viewed video. Right ever, yeah. and probably a turning point for Wang Fu. And it, it just happened to cast 
Asian American. Well, no, I mean, I didn't second guess like that it shouldn't be. You know, like why can't we just be ourselves, like, yeah. human, right? So like, it wasn't until like maybe like the last five or so years that we're like, okay, our casting choices actually did make a difference in the community. Friends would look to us and say, hey, I never get to be a leading man when I go off for auditions, mm. but when I come to Wang Fu, I get to be. The flip side of that same coin is that okay, because we have to be conscious of it when we cast. Non-Asians will see comments that are like, oh wow, Wang Fu sold out, like you were supposed to represent us. Uh, and then when we cast all Asians, Asian yeah. people even will be like, oh, you guys are pigeonholing yourself, like why are you guys doing that so Oh my gosh. So what's the next thing then for you? I'm actually working on like a new feature film. It's been five years since we shot our last movie. And I feel like the culture, society, the industry has changed so much. When we made our movie back then, like people were still like, oh, you can't have Asians. It was still weird, but now it's clear you that, say that to you? we literally had like small production companies and another producers say, this doesn't make, why would you do this? Mm. And so that just left a whole bad taste in our mouth of where Hollywood was. So that when we made our movie in 2015, we crowdfunded. But now because we've made progress, I'm more confident than ever before. So that's why we're gonna head back into the feature film space. Wow. Yeah. Feature film, look at this knife skill by the way. I, I love cutting green onions. It's really easy to make you look like you're good at cutting things with green onions because yeah. they're so rigid. I have one last thing I want to talk about. Yes. It's about Helen. Right, right, when, it, right when this goes in. What would, what'd you say? <laughs> so you've gone through 14 years of making huh? content about relationships. Huh? And now you are in a long-term relationship with a girl yeah. who you live with. Yeah. Oh, sh I didn't cut the garlic. Oh my you, gosh. You, we're going to do it. I, you have to have garlic in this. So. You have to. Yeah. So I'll say this. When I was in my 20s, for sure, marriage scared the shit out of me. I, it actually did not make sense to me. There Even you after you made like 50 videos about relationships. But I made, I, made, I made videos about like being 20 and in love. I don't have the life experience and the knowledge to know what it takes to make you know, a marriage work, obviously. What clicked in for me is you're never going to find the perfect one, right? But you have to find people that you're willing to try to be perfect for, I guess. I feel like I've done everything that I, I can or want to as a bachelor. And I'm like, I'm, I'm excited to get into like new challenges. Yeah. Right? When you pair that with someone that matches you and that you can enter that next stage with, gotcha. then that's when it gets exciting, you know what I mean? I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm gonna watch this later and be like, what was I talking about? <laughs> Ridiculous, I can't believe I didn't have garlic in here. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. How's the rice, did it pop yet? Hey! Oh. Okay, See, you did it. I did it. Phil Wang's <laughs> tomato egg. Oh. I mean, I, I kind of brought Helen up tongue in cheek, but I think you're in a stage of your life where you're like working your ass off still. Mm. That's not the most important thing to you right now, right? Like, if I had to say like, you gotta choose one, Wang Fu or Helen, there's <laughs> a fire at your office. They need are people, to come are people in. in danger? Are they yes, like, they're in, are. What, no. Uh, like a deadline, maybe just no, no, like a no. deadline, okay? Maybe, maybe <laughs> okay, a deadline too far. versus <laughs> Helen needs me to be like at a function. Right. Yes, I would choose Helen. I would schedule that way in advance. Right, but right. is that how you always were? Oh, no. With other past relationships, I would choose Wong Fu. Man, this is, that's can, we just, can we just eat yeah, that's, that's tomato, good. egg, and rice? Hold on, I gotta get all three and. Oh, your chopsticks are terrible, chopstick. by the way. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Honestly? That's really good. Yeah, thank you, man. All right, Phil, thank you for joining us on the first episode of Grocery Run. It was an honor. It. it was an honor. Thank you for cooking. For sure, man. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Whoa. There's very little dirt in this. It's more of like an effervescent. Like if you don't breathe it in, it's actually okay. Oh wait, never mind, there it is. Hey guys, Steven here, and I just wanna say a quick thank you to Phil for coming on the show. I have been a big fan of his and following his career for a while, so it was such an honor to bring him on. And also, congratulations on your engagement. When I was asking you those questions in this video, I had no idea you were going to get engaged so soon, and it was just really cool to see that moment of time when you were thinking about making it happen. So congratulations, and if you wanna check out Wang Fu, go to Wang Fu Productions, uh, their YouTube channel, Wang Fu Pro on Instagram, and all their socials. So thanks guys. See you guys next episode.